Greetings, my esteemed disciples. Today I come bearing some profound wisdom, and uh, since it's such an important video, I will cut straight to the chase. I have a book recommendation. Western Price, Nutrition and Physical Degeneration. So if you just want to hear this far of this particular video, I will just encourage you to read this book. So basically what uh, the book is about is a study by a by dentist who during the last century went around the world to study the effects a modern diet had upon the health and in particular the teeth health of um, the populations who have gone from a more traditional diet to a modern diet and what he means with a modern diet and what I mean with a modern diet in this context is basically a diet full of refined carbohydrates so for example sugars and white breads and all sugary things so jams for example and uh, stuff like that the sweet things which um, we all have a weakness too at least I have a particular weakness for um, for sugary things, but that is for another video. So his starting point was he saw the physical degeneration in the population of North America, so Canada and um, the United States, and he his thesis was okay, maybe there is something wrong with the diet that causes this um, these various maladies. And for him, his starting point was to look at people's teeth and good teeth is an indicator of good health so it's um, interesting for us if we're looking at overall health to look at teeth as well especially in younger children so on to the studies at hand and yeah you can look upon in this book as well if you get it but I'll put some pictures up here on uh, the screen uh, basically he took a lot of pictures of the indigenous peoples who had continued to adhere to their traditional diets and took similar pictures of the people of same biocultural stock, so to speak, who had adapted a modern diet. And what he found among all of these different um, indigenous tribes, so he went around the whole world to the Amazonas, to um, the Inuit population, to Australia, a lot of indigenous populations, including Europe, by the way. He went out to the islands around Scotland to have a look there. And basically, wherever he went, he saw the same pattern. The older generation, or the people who had still maintained a traditional diet, they were healthier and they had better teeth than the individuals who had started to adapt to a modern diet. So, for example, a traditional diet consisted of a lot of butter, cheeses, fish and that sort of stuff, whereas a modern diet then consisted of a lot of sugar, white bread, sweets, etc. So that was the uh, distinction and he found that this didn't only lead to a degeneration in teeth health but also in regards to facial structure and other physical maladies. So yes, very interesting book. I read it a few weeks back and I have definitely it was good timing since I used to have my little cuddle princess now so I have a bit more understanding of how to feed her in a good way. So basically yeah, I'm trying to avoid a lot of um, a lot of carbohydrates to to begin with and I will make another video on um, carbohydrates because obviously if we're trying to get juicy in uh, the gym it's another thing entirely then you need some carbohydrates to break these uh, stalls in um, in the gym but uh, as for children etc focusing on more fats more natural things like that rather than you know a lot of carbohydrates can be a good idea now I will also say that I do have a video planned on veganism so stay tuned for that where I will elaborate upon the health of a vegan diet or the lack of health of a vegan diet. Uh, it will be an intense video, I am certain. Um, speaking of veganism and this book, he did not find any vegan populations. The populations who relied more upon vegetable sources, they still went to great length to obtain certain sources rich in animal fats, especially when it comes to fertility. So that might be something for any vegan who is struggling to, um, to be fertile, basically. If you adhere to his teachings, you should eat a lot of animal fats. So basically what we can learn from this book is if you want your children to develop good teeth, 
good jaw lines and uh, overall health adhering to a good diet don't let them eat sugar i will do my utmost to um, keep my daughter away from sugar for as long as possible it will be one hell of a task but uh, i will do my best and my wife will do her best to um, you know try to stay clear of uh, those sort of things until she is um, as old as possible basically now obviously sugar is such an integral part of our society it is hard but now we at least know the um, the dangers of it and especially for young children so um, yeah a heads up for all parents i can definitely recommend this book um, obviously you can read up a lot online on this um, on this topic as well there's plenty of videos on it too so um yeah book recommendation of the day i hope you found that informative and i hope my overview of it was um reasonable enough but mostly i just wanted to make a video titled uh, the name of the book so you can research it further and as i said i will make more videos in the coming weeks talking about veganism carbohydrates fats and everything like that so um yeah, thanks for watching. XOXO. Boom.